Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you some quick and easy crock pot meals that I like to make for my family. This first one is an Italian chicken and noodles and it's super easy. And if you've never heard of these slow cooker liners, you definitely need to go get you some. It saves you so much time and energy when it comes time to clean up. You just put them right in the crock pot and cook your food in there. And when you are done, you just take them out and throw them away. So I'm just taking some chicken breast and putting them in the crock pot. You can use however many you need for your family. And then I will take some garlic powder and sprinkle that on top. And I'm sorry for some reason this part did not um, ever get in focus, but I'm just sprinkling that garlic powder on there and then I'm adding some Italian dressing and I put almost the entire bottle. I'm going to show you in a minute how much I had left, but that is again just according to how many um, chicken breasts that you put in there and your size of family or however many people you are feeding. But I just put enough in there to pretty much almost cover the chicken. And then I'm adding in these red potatoes. You can really do any kind of potatoes. I just find these to be easier. You can dice them up if you want to, but I'm all about easy. So I just toss those suckers in there. I put the lid on and I'm gonna turn it on low and I let that cook pretty much all day. I probably around seven, six or seven hours. And when it was all done, it looked like this. And I did not get a picture of it on our plate for some reason, but it was really, really good. Everyone liked it. And I just made these quick noodles on the side. I think these things are like a dollar at the grocery store and you just boil the water and add the stuff. And then for my next one, I'm making pulled pork sandwiches. Again, this one is super easy. You just need some brown sugar and some barbecue sauce of your choice. I chose the sweet honey. And then I also added a little bit of red wine vinegar. And as you can see, my pork roast was huge. I ordered it on Walmart pickup and I didn't realize what I was getting. So when I got home with it, I was like, okay, wow. So we've definitely had a lot of leftovers, which is fine because my husband has enjoyed taking this for his lunches at work. It's really quick and easy to heat up. So I'm just adding about a cup of brown sugar. You probably won't need that much if you have a smaller roast. And then I just sprinkle a little bit of the um, red wine vinegar in there in a minute. And then I just put the entire bottle of barbecue sauce in there. And again, I let this one cook for about eight hours. I think I was making these around 10 in the morning and then we typically eat around six or 6.30. And then I used these sweet Hawaiian hamburger buns. We had never tried these before, but I saw them and I thought they would be really good with the sweet pulled pork and they were really good. So that's what we used. And then we just had chips for our side this day. So the next thing that I made was this chicken and noodles. This is again, really super easy and it's comfort food. And I just put some chicken breasts in there and I sprinkled them with garlic powder, salt and pepper. And then I'm going to add a can of this cream of chicken and I got the family size. So I put this in there and then I added just a tiny bit of water into the can and put that in there as well, just to make it a little bit more soupy. You can add more water depending on how soupy you want it to be. I like mine to be thick and creamy though. So I just added a little tiny bit of water to the soup and then I'm going to let that cook all day on low again, just like the other ones.
So I let just that cook all day and then right before I was ready to eat, I shredded up the chicken like you see there, which is two forks, it was really easy to do. And then I have some water here boiling and I'm gonna throw in these egg noodles and cook them according to what the packaging says. And then I dump them into the crock pot with the chicken stuff and I mix it all together and you can see I'm adding some salt to them as well. But anyways, I add it into the crock pot, mix it all together, and it is ready to go. And it was absolutely delicious. And again, we had lots of leftovers, so we've been eating on that for lunch and for easy peasy night here because sometimes we have easy peasy night where we just kind of make our own thing. So that was it, guys. I hope that you enjoyed these crock pot meals. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And I will see you in my next video.